Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Happy Friday, Alex Navarro. Happy Friday, Vinny Caravella. Thank you very much. Happy Friday, Brad Shoemaker. Hi. Um, hi to you as well. Hi. And hi. hi, hi At a top you. of the morning to you, Brad. Uh, that's, that's right. That's right. Ready to hit the dark seed too? I'm activating over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You're going to, uh, in another universe, there is a, Brad is in a, in a, gooey giger esque room with mm-hmm. actually not scary people who are just kind of uh, middle management people. That's mm-hmm. the dark world. Was it, is mm-hmm. that what they call the dark world? It is. I don't it, remember. I think they call it the dark world. Yes. Okay. The dark world. Let's get back to Mike in the dark think, world. If I remember correctly where we were yeah. and I did spend some time thinking about this before we started. Yeah. Uh, we were about to hit a section here where I think we're going back and forth between the dark world a few times. I think we were, uh, weren't we? We had uh, just started that process. Also, yes, let's talk to our really unsettling neighbor here. Let's remind everyone what this dude is about. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure everybody can see and hear us out there. Everybody Seems is. like it. Good. Okay, here we go. Make sure our sinks are good. This is the guy we think's an alien, right? Never seen anyone take water in sure acts water like so one. Seriously. Oh, man, this mix feels off again. Hold on. You did have to reconfigure a bunch of things, didn't you? I did. Put this music way down. That sounds yeah, I just, better to me. <laughs> I just want an undercurrent of this music. Yeah. That's good. I think that's good. I've never seen anyone take watering their lawn so seriously. That's better. Okay. So this guy, mm-hmm. um, we think he's an alien. Or, or a pervert. Or both. <laughs> Uh, and aliens different than the dark world, right? Aliens no. came, didn't aliens come and mm. like enslave the dark worlds people? Well, well there is a, there, yes. There is a, like some cadre of like ancient aliens that are now running the dark world, but I don't know that the dark world was like good before. It's just that <sighs> it wasn't invading Earth. Got it. I thought, yeah, wasn't there like an alien ship that came and then. Yeah. <clears throat> Now that guy has to serve bad meat to people. Yes. My old 35 millimeter camera. There's only one shot left on this roll. Take your shot. Take your yeah. shot, Mike. All right. We, I'm just going over what we got here. We got a coat hanger, a key. This glass key looks like something out of a fairy tale. Too bad real life doesn't always have a happy <laughs> ending. <laughs> Shit, Mike. Shit, Mike. Why you guys get so real on a Friday? All right, uh, I'm just I'm finding the section yeah. in the guide where we were. This ticket stub to the high school reunion is the. Okay. Only. I just need to find the part with that stupid puzzle. The you are ick, you are it is night, etc. Okay, found yeah, that. Did that. I still just want this guy to say he's a shapeshifter. This ladder looks sturdy, but looks can be deceiving. I think we're gonna get a, get a good morph with this guy. I hope so. How do, I just want to turn his water off. Uh, actually, when did this come out? 96? I've... I feel like we've had some morphs already. Paul's yeah, that's true. Attached to this faucet. Okay, I think you're going to the carnival if I'm correct about where we are. All right. We're, we're, post, we're post sleepwalkers by the time this came out, right? What sleepwalkers? Is that a the, movie? It's the Stephen King written. I think I think he wrote it. It's the it's the it is the horror movie that introduced morphing to the world, as far as I remember. Oh, oh, that's right. That's the cat people was, one. Yeah, yes, yes the, the, the famous like morph into the cat person from the trailer. It's like, oh my god, look at this. It's also one of the most glaring examples of a movie that has exactly one memorable image, and it's that. Mm-hmm. Like nothing else about that movie is memorable, other than it being kind of bad. Oh my god, apparently Sleepwalkers stars made Konomic. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, poor make Konomic. Wow. <clears throat> oh, I have to look that up. Uh, I think you're heading the right direction. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me just verify. Yeah, Let you want to go... Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Oh, all right. Yeah. So you want to go this back through the Hall of Mirrors... Data. Oh, shit. Okay. And there's a key to lock door. Okay. Who cares? We'll go left. Go along here and wheel of fortune. Back into the Hall of Mirrors? I'm just making sure we're in the right place. Okay. Because this isn't a long guide, but, you know, you do have to run around a lot. I'm in the Hall of Mirrors. 
All right. Uh, go back to the hall. Using your key at the locked door, return to the carousel and go left. Like in, not in the hall. Like don't go through the hall of mirrors. Uh, I'm not sure. It just okay. let me find a, a second guy just to be absolutely certain I'm looking at the right one. Okay. I think the carousel is that an attraction? Here's the carousel, right? Go left. Use your key mm-hmm. on a door. What's over here? Is this where the guy's drugs oh, are? No, I'm not definitely not using that one. Nope, this guy. Look, buddy. Look, buddy. I need some answers. Look, buddy. The main thing you need to find is the Wheel of Fortune game. Yeah, I know what that is. You got it. Okay. You have to play it three times. Okay. Done. Because you haven't won anything from this guy, right? No, it's rigged. What They're all rigged. What was it that the Dark World Wheel Machine said about experiencing a level six magnetic flux? I don't remember, Mike. I, I honestly, Mike, I don't remember. Let's just fudge our way through I it. I bet this guy has mom tattooed across his chest. Why do you think that? Why? why? Have you ever met a person Excuse with me, mom tattooed across their chest? Why, it's the gentleman from earlier today. Feeling lucky yet, sir? I am feeling lucky. Magnetic fluxes and all. I think I'd like to try it one more time. Do I have to use like a magnet or something in the dark world to Go win this ahead, game? Go ahead, sir. Pick a number and give the wheel a spin. I don't think so. Okay. It Let's just says it. to play it. It doesn't say anything other than play it I three play times. Spin the wheel. Pick a number between zero and... I'd like the number six. Six. Wait, hang on. Hang six. on. Hang on. Okay, it's too late. He's going. Spin. You can't stop. No, it's spinning. okay. You can do it. It's fine. He's, he's spinning. He won't stop. You use the smiley six. face magnet in the dark world, oh, right? Yeah. I did. I just won. And then you're good. I did it. Give me a teddy bear. You now have a teddy bear. Congratulations. This, this teddy bear is going to break this whole thing wide open. You would have liked this All right. Back to the portal. Come the back to the dark world. You just came here for this teddy bear and nothing else. That's what I needed. And somebody wants a little bear, I'm sure. Maybe that gun dealer. That's what guy. I needed. It's a teddy bear. Yeah, going. Yeah, when... Oh, we were. I think from... magnetic flux. Yeah. yeah. We did it. Mike's is genius. Look at this guy. So back. yeah, when you can get back to the map, there's actually just a direct line to the portal now. I think. Yeah, we could just do this. Yeah, there we, we go. That also works. We whatever gets you there, it, which is a mirror. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Where am I headed here? All right. It says go through the gate. Go left. Uh, you went through the gate, so go left twice. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yeah. One. Ah, ah, ah. I don't want to go this way. Maybe you didn't go through the gate. Maybe you have to get out of this room and then yeah, go Yeah, let's get wise. out of this room. Yeah, let's do that. Let's definitely get out of this room. Uh, this way? There's got to be an exit somewhere, right? Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe I just... Oh, okay. Maybe I'd have to walk out of the... Uh... Oh, out of the maze, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that up just here? Just find where the exit yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Hello! There you go. Hey, Mike. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this guy. No, no, no. Not in here. Oh, you sure? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> is that if you not, want to. Um, say hi to... Uh, is this the person? Like, my girlfriend? Unless they're counting... Unless they're counting this is the gate. I don't know. That seems like it could be a gate. Is that Rita? That's the ancient spaceship. It's drawing its psychic energy from this power generator. Ah, Damn. I do, I do think that is either Rita or some other poor unfortunate like Rita. That's the ancient spaceship. Um, what what am I Rita, gonna end up at? Either Rita or a Rita like. Nope. Is there, a, gonna, is there a container in here anywhere? No. Mm, I don't think so. I'm gonna go back right. outside. Yeah, I would go back outside. I think that I think that's Rita. Yeah. I think her head powers uh, powers spaceships now. <clears throat> See you, Mike. 
I'm here when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, one, two, oh, these guys? These guys, do I have to go inside the, the zipper? <laughs> no, you know what, okay, hang on. Uh, uh huh. No, you were right. There is a container somewhere in that room. All right, let's go take another look. Sorry in guys. That, uh, that power it, center room. <laughs> Brad's having camera fun. When are we not having camera fun? <clears throat> I've never had fun on camera. All right, container in the weird room. Yeah. Container, read his head. Set in the power center, and I think that's what this is. Okay, let's Is, is see. there somewhere you can jam a teddy bear? Brother? Uh-huh. <laughs> is there? Uh, I, oh, you I'm could always try around. going further, like, one room further if you yeah. want. That looks like a place you could jam a teddy bear. This machine has an empty socket like the other one. Sh sure? Let's do it and not Adventure ask games. too many questions. Holy it, crap. What happened to my teddy bear? Uh, you're it's in a dark world. Like the stuffed animal I just won. It's a dark teddy bear. Well, it's not exactly yeah. cute. It seems <laughs> friendly enough. Are they going to eat this thing? Let's do it. How come my camera didn't turn into like a dark Like instead camera? of goodbye, do they say bad bye here? Oh, boy. Oh. Why wouldn't that happen? The machine stopped working. Is, is, a, is a sandwich in the dark world a slice of bread between two pieces of meat? Ooh. Yeah, and it's bad meat. Have you seen the meat here? Should we mm -hmm. talk to this? It's not good meat. The creature is locked in tight. I can't get it loose. Is that what we were trying to do? <laughs> we we're trying to get it yeah, loose? Yeah, I'm, I'm always trying to get loose, man. <laughs> um, all right. All right, so hold on, hold on. Let's, I'm going to try some stuff here. Let's try a coat hanger on it. <laughs> hold on, here we go. Come on, Mike. The creature is locked in tight. Okay. I can't no, you're not taking that thing out right now. Okay. Now where? You just needed to jam this teddy bear into that device, I <laughs> That's guess. That's it? That from here now. Now you need to go downtown. <laughs> the okay. dark world downtown. All right. Dark world downtown. Sure. Yeah. You say so. It, you know, just. Is the stuff. dark world downtown uptown? Oh, you guys. What? You guys, this is being a break these for are, Mike's brain. These the, are the jokes, people. This Mike is what can't we got. deal with this kind of stuff. Mike's barely keeping it together. Like he's got to walk past Rita every single time he goes in here. That's my girlfriend's head. Oh, Are you telling that the to the building? He's, Mike talks to himself. All right. All right. Downtown. Okay. I think you have a map access here as well. Yeah. How again? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, um, oh gosh, how was it? Uh, you mean to get like the big layout of all the buildings? Yeah. yeah. God, how did you do that? I can't. That's a good question. Wait, remember. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought it go... was, we triggered it from a screen, did we not? Yeah, you had to go a certain way or something. Man, I cannot remember. Um, let's see. These are the two doors. That's the thing. It's not from here. Option. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna guess it's not M. No, I, <laughs> I think you had to go to a certain place. That might be true. There might be like a hub area you have to access it from. Okay. Which is annoying, but um. From here? Yeah. Hi, Rita. That's, that's the theory. I'll save you. Splodgy hey. on Twitch. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Splodgy on Twitch asking, are we in a world where Brad and Vinny have now this watched at least one episode of the, of the Return? Downtown yes. 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 As a matter of fact. Yes. 
Um, downtown, Alex. Is that what you said? Downtown. Oh yeah, this uh, not uh, phallic-looking thing. I mean, the thing that looks growing. like a nurse would scream if it was gro- <laughs> growing off your body. <laughs> yeah. I just should we go inside it then? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Okay, I'm I'm back at this guy. All right, right hang on. Let me make sure we're in the right place here. Bobby. Uh, did you enter the right doorway or the left doorway? Left doorway. Try the right doorway. Sure. Go in the right nut. Got it. Oh, and no. then uh, take a peek at the ceiling. Okay, we'll do. My nose is burning from ozone and other assorted fumes. It's making me feel lightheaded. Okay. Ma'am? Do you need assistance? Because you really seem to be going to town on that thing. <laughs> Jeez, and I thought Melissa was a chain smoker. <laughs> yeah, okay, Mike. Smoking something. Hey, what you want, honey? <laughs> <laughs> this sick creature has intravenous bottles plugged directly into his body. Man, judgy. This sick creature. Sick creature. Look, it's it's a disease, okay? Okay. I'd- don't need to judge. That was inside this canister must have left to get his jolly somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, Mike. You know what? You know what this this creature watch for his jollies. Jollies. Oh. Who in this planet this is having jollies sure ever? Is heavy, but I think I'll be able to lug it around with me. Yes, yeah, ego massager. Yeah, that's is what, what they, they call it. That's what it's labeled on Spencer's gifts. That's what it says. Uh, that's what it says. Look, <laughs> says, <laughs> says it right there on the on the, right there on the Hitachi website. <laughs> Funny. I feel in better spirits when I hold this device. Too bad it's so heavy. All right, I have an ego massager. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save this. Also. Yeah, you fucking sure do, man. Uh, me. Save, save this <laughs> ego massager. All you, right, you, you oh, have this Jesus. ego massager. Ego, my ego mass. That's what we're. There's there a door in here you can open and go through? Sure, I could probably try this thing. Yeah, you try that thing. The keeper of the scrolls said that I could find the spy goth behind the rest of the Have we come Fallout? Have we come from Fallout like yesterday? I, I, I like seeing that you also started out all caps and underscores in your save games. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then and then slowly devolved into whatever. Just just type whatever gets you there, man. Mm-hmm. Also, spy goth. Spy goth. Really? Uh huh. Keeper of the scrolls. Spy said goth. That I could find the spy goth behind the recreation center. And this looks like the place's only back door. All right. How do I open the back door to the spy? Maybe guy? that's controls. I tried getting over here. Hey, I talked to somebody. Yeah, what's up? This sick creature has nope. intravenous bottle. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't this stare. Thanks. <laughs> Can I just use it? Maybe just use it. Oh, I wonder if that's the door you needed to unlock on the other side. Nope. There we go. Nope. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nope. Mike's got it. Never mind. Doink. According to what the keeper of the scrolls told me, this I is can fly. Lives. <laughs> God, they are gentrifying the shit out of the dark world, man. It's just <laughs> nothing but condos, as far as you can see. Uh, let's just walk down this little path, huh? I look at me, I'm flying again. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> they said I couldn't do it. But, uh, man, I. It's. Uh, let me just make sure I know what you need to do here. Uh, if there's a lit doorway, maybe head toward it. Uh, here. Jeez, that's... Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is the Keeper's best Oh, spy. boy. No wonder they lost to the Oh, ancient. my gosh, Mike. Chill the fuck out, man. And a good day to you, too, sir! <laughs> I'm dying! Me and the dude are huge fans! <laughs> I don't know anything about yes. dark world biology, but this creature looks deathly ill. Do you need your ego massaged? Are you are you, are you a goth? <laughs> you have to tell me if you're a goth. Are you goth? <laughs> I need to talk to you. <laughs> Go away. Let Literal knee slapper. <laughs> Says the old goth. <laughs> No, please tell me of the days. No, I need to talk to you. No, I need to talk to you. Wait, you're a human, aren't you? From the other side? 
I need you to go to this hot topic for me. I need a chain and choker. <laughs> yes. The keeper of the scrolls sent me. <laughs> I thought so. The ancients haven't seized control of your side yet. Can you do something for me? I am dying. <laughs> Can you get me my booty statue? <laughs> it's right behind you. I just, I just want to hold it one last time. It's you can't miss it. Really, just as an ass. <laughs> really, it's <laughs> just, it's just a damn ass. Like there's nothing going on there that ain't just an ass. It's right next to the penis. You can, really, it's right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Just, just grab mm -hmm. it. What happened to you? I was trampled during a skirmish with the troopers at Tau Square. Oh, Tau Square. My exoskeleton is broken. There is no one I can go to. The healers are all dead. Killed by the ancients. <laughs> Whoa, okay. By the ancients, do you mean the American healthcare industry? <laughs> yes. I am in great pain. But the medicines are gone. The drugs are no longer being manufactured. I need something to sedate me. You'll have to suck the poison out, Mike. <laughs> Saw people using drugs in the building outside. Great. Is that, well, I saw that, people using drugs in the building outside. That's how drugs work. No. Those drugs are used <laughs> by the ancients to enslave the masses. They're called antibiotics. I need, I need real medicine. <laughs> I don't know. I need my colloidal anymore. silver. <laughs> you Please. have drugs in the normal world, don't you? Painkillers. It's oh purely God. holistic Only medicine. Me I get it off the internet. This guy is definitely scamming Mike to go get some yeah. real world drugs for him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard you have cocaine in the real world. <laughs> Could you get me a few bumps? Just it re it's really what I need. I just like a half dozen bennies. That's all I need. I will get me through the day. <laughs> you don't understand our worlds. I do not know. Quaaludes, get me quaaludes. Weed here is really, really helpful. Just if you get as much as you can, just please, Harry. All right, I need to go no, back to, to the me, real world. No, to me, to me, mids are the chronic man. That's the good <laughs> shit. Don't touch that human. You're liable to set it off, and who knows what will become magnetized. What? Uh, all right, I have to go back to the real world, I assume? Uh, yeah, let me pull it up. Sorry, I was uh, obsessed with this fucking guy. Don't touch that. What am I not- what am I not touching? I was- the door? Did he give- okay. Did you give him the ego massager? No. Do that. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, actually, no, sorry, not him. It's the okay. next person you meet. You have to give the ego oh, massager, too. Of course, yes, of course. Uh, go back to the normal world. Okay. Who the fuck is Gargan again? <laughs> Mac Gargan. Is it the you sheriff? Know. Um, I think it's, is it one of the people in the, um, carnival? Might be. Gar oh, Gargan. Might be the, the, strong, the man? strong man. Oh, right. And that the. Yeah, that's it's, right. Okay. It's the clown. The clown has the medicine, right? In the, in the cooler? Yeah, I think okay. that's right. Uh, but you can give uh, Gargan the ego massager. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is the Ancient's power center. All right, I think that's where I want to be. Kill me. I think beeps so menacingly. I know. Actually, somehow the most menacing thing in this entire world. Data card not presented. Oh my gosh. Access. Oh, apparently you can warp straight to the um the mirror. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can do that. I might be faster than going through all this. Probably, yeah. Uh oh, Hall of Mirrors. Oh, this right here. Okay. Yeah, it's right there. It's right here. Oh, wow, right wow. Right to the other world. Okay. Gargan! They, look, they know they're dragging this out. They're <laughs> not going to extra drag it out. I think Gargan is past the twins. Brrrr. <laughs> I like these drawings. MIDI really was a beautiful time for musical technology, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. Everything can sound like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, it was glorious. <laughs> it was a fun hey, time. Hey, Gargan! 
How you doing, friend? Excuse me, Gargon. Gargon. I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Uh, why did you lose your job? Why would you lose your job? I can't draw a crowd. They all go to see the science. <laughs> I don't think anybody here is drawing a crowd. <laughs> yeah. No. There's just no interest in my talents. Not when you can rent Arnold or Sly at the mm. video store for a buck. A buck? Man, who was getting movies for a buck? A buck. Jeez, Gargan. In the 90s? Come on. Nobody. Nobody. There was a pizza delivery place in my hometown, if I remember correctly, that if you bought a pizza there and got delivery, they would let you rent a movie from them for like a dollar or two or something. What? Yeah. Pizza and the movie rental? Yeah, the pizza was not very good. That was the trade-off. Damn, that's the hell of a business idea. Yeah. I feel like mine were always two dollars. Rent like a pizza, pizza and a movie delivery? Yeah. Feel better, Gargan. Here you go. Stroke your ego. Hey, Gargon. I bet you can't lift this. The hell you say? Oh, yeah? <laughs> I can lift anything. Ugh. <laughs> 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 I'm sure that snapped you so out. Let me get this straight. This device farted on him, and now he's <laughs> going to do whatever you want. Why, I feel great. <laughs> I don't know what you did, kid, but it sure beats those pills I've been taking. <laughs> I'm turning over a new leaf. No more feeling sorry for Jeez. myself. No more rumors. Uh, sure. How about them pills? What are you taking? You've been taking pills? Take some more pills! Pill head? <laughs> yeah. Antidepressants. Oh. Killers. But heck, I don't you used need to be a pro wrestler? <laughs> Why don't you take them? Give them to someone who's really in pain. I, I don't know, Gargan. You might still need these at some point, actually. I'm, well, we don't know all the effects of this ego stroker thing, actually. I'm no. I'm happier now. Gargan, I still need your help. Excuse me, Gargon. Hey, friend. <laughs> Feeling great, bud. Um, I need your well, help. Gargon, you sure look a lot happier. Better yet, I feel happier. No more pills, no more rumors. No matter what happens, I still got my weights, right? <laughs> and speaking of my weights, no, no, no. I better gotta... get back to pumping iron. I think you're done here. I don't need him to move that thing for the clown? No, because you got the... Well, not yet. Okay. All I mean, right. you could do it now, I guess, if you want. I'm trying to get him to do it. He, he won't do hey, it. Hey, friend. Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Gargon? Thanks. But you've done more than enough for me already. I've got a whole new outlook on life now. And you know what? I think people like my act better for it. Yeah, I like the positivity. Let me show you. Oh, all right. Yeah, not now anyway. Yeah. Let's take the uh, the things that were given to you and then go give it to uh, uh, the guy in the iron lung. Sure. Yeah, as soon as I figure out. There we go. There's, there's the pixel. Ladies. And then you will be talking to our friend Goth for a bit. <laughs> so there I was. You wouldn't believe it. The Pesh Mode concert, 87. Mm -hmm. There truly is no place that just feels more uncanny and weird than a fully staffed theme park or carnival that has no one at it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, he's just gone. I guess no one's going to replace the clown at the ticket booth. This carnival doesn't seem to care much about <laughs> making money. Didn't make it, huh? Sorry, clown. Things happen. We're leaving. Have you ever been to a park like that? It was, like, fully empty? I've been to a very lightly crowded place, never fully empty. I that's too weird. Whoops. I yeah. get back to the map here. Uh, honestly, honestly, the fully operating but completely empty theme park is like probably the creepiest thing in this game. <laughs> yeah. 
I went to one once when I was in China. Uh, I, we were out there in December, which is not exactly like theme park season there. And we wanted to go to this one random park uh, in the area because we just had to, like a day or two to kill. And they were like, all of my partner's family was like, you probably don't need to go there right now. Like, I don't think they're even, if they're open, I don't think anyone's going there. Huh. So we went anyway. There were maybe nine people the in the entire park. It was a gigantic, like, Six Flags style be. theme park that had a lot of iconography that was basically copyright violations of Blizzard <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, How? Fake pictures? But, uh, I think there are pictures I have somewhere of that that yeah. I, I can try and dig up. Um, but they were still doing all the stage shows. And, oh, like, wow. The, like, half oh. the rides weren't working, but the other ones were. It was just so off season that no one was going there. But they were open for whatever reason. So, did you like ride a roller coaster entirely by yourself? We read a, wrote a couple of things. The big roller coaster things weren't working or were not being operated that day, I think. But they were still doing like their stage dance shows and stuff. The merch stores were all open and, and like a couple of the restaurants were still open. It was super weird. Uh, World Joyland is what it was called. Good. That's a good name. I gotta, I gotta look that up. How do you feel? I feel the pain no longer. I feel happy. But that does not change the fact that I will die soon. At least I will be able to enjoy the experience. What? Sure, sure me in. Now it's your turn to help me. I'm told you know all about the ancients. Lay it on me, Goth. No one knows all there is to know about the ancients except the ancients. But I do know about their current plans. Okay. Why did the ancients conquer your world? They are life force scavengers. They travel from planet to planet, feeding off the life force from each world they visit. It sustains them while they sleep in their spaceship and ponder the universe. Okay. Sounds like a giant waste of time. <laughs> Why would the ancients be interested in my world? We have no life there. Yeah. They have nearly siphoned off the life force from this world, as well as most of the other planets in my universe. They need new regions to harvest. Your world, for example. Okay. Just what are the ancients' current plans? Uh, Jesus, Mike, are you they paying attention? Created a creature Not at all. Called the behemoth. <laughs> that is able to live uh -oh. on your side. You realize that we dark world inhabitants are not capable of crossing the barrier. Have you read the book, Mike? <laughs> Why did the ancients create this behemoth? This creature was designed to collect the life force of the human race and deliver it to the ancients. Once the behemoth passes through the barrier into your world, it will become invincible. Oh, so it's not the guy watering his lawn? Is this just a reaper? Is this just a giant fucking Terminator skeleton yeah, reaper thing they're building? Yeah, I hope so. There's one dark worlder who can exist in a normal world. Oh, yes. There is one dark worlder who can exist in the normal world. Who is it? <laughs> it's my neighbor, Phil. He loves watering his lawn. The shapeshifter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, but he can exist on your side only for short periods of time. Long enough to bring back a human head human for head. the ancient yeah. power generator. All right, so it's probably not the hose guy then, because what? he's been there this whole time. Yeah, it's true. Tell me about your undercover work for the Tell keepers. Tell me about you and your Come undercover on. work for the keepers. I have been part of the underground movement against the ancients for a long time. A very long time. But it appears that my labors are near an end. It's really great having this incredibly grave, important conversation just next to that giant <laughs> dick and ass. <laughs> Tell me more about the. What is that in our world? What is what did that turn the into? Yeah. Also being delivered by somebody who sounds like your accountant. But we're <laughs> yeah. <estimated the laughs> or your insurance power. agent. <laughs> we're all but completely slaughtered. Yeah, this guy should be, like, narrating a Winnie the Pooh book, not telling mm -hmm. me about the ancients. Tell me about Christopher Robin. 
If you couldn't stop the ancients, then how can I? Man, what does, what does Winnie the Pooh look like in this world? Oh, the Jesus. That ass. <laughs> that ass is Winnie the Pooh. Yep. Gather the three points. All right. The light. The light. Scrolls. Scrolls. And the sword. Swords. The mm -hmm. trooper sees the light. The scrolls are locked up in the Hall of Justice. Okay. Where is the Sword of Justice? The shapeshifter had. Got it. After the keeper of the sword was crucified, the ancients gave it to the shapeshifter as a reward for his services in the normal world. Okay. He's a shapeshifter. Where can I find the shapeshifter? He loves the water lawns. No one knows where he lives. I'm sure he is well protected by the ancients. He is their most trusted agent, after all. Okay. What do I do with the points? You spend them on Ancient Nintendo merchandise. Generator. I've had a good look at it. You can overload it with the points energy. Send their spaceship a power surge that not even the ancients can withstand. Easy peasy. All right. And yeah, okay, yep. How do I use the points on the generator? With the light, <laughs> illuminate that which is dark. With the, the scrolls, scrolls, feed the truth into that which is false. Yes. And with the sword, sever that which should never have been joined. Okay. Okay. He's just. Okay. You've been very mm. helpful. Very. I'll let you rest now. Before you leave, take my mm. crossbow. It emits a magnetic field. It may prove useful. <laughs> I never found a use for it, the magnet thing, but I don't know. Can this? And also, before you go, can you please take this bedpan? The nurse has not been around in some time. <laughs> I suppose so. We used it to disrupt communications. There is very little metal in the really? dark world. Really? What is all this what stuff made out of? Cartilage? You, you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I won the game already. Not that game. I need oh. to win a game. Oh, oh, oh the rifle game? Help. Games, he says. Were the keepers wrong about this one? Oh, let me rest, human. You are not worth my remaining energy. He's gonna peace out. He's gonna Yoda out. Finally, someone in this world realizes what a fucking loser <laughs> this guy is. Oh god, just give me some more pills, will ya? <laughs> Use it wisely, human. The power is low, and I don't know how many shots are left. Okay. Alright, am I going back to that rifle game? Yeah. You got it, here we go. Gosh, where is the pixel? There. Ah! Hey guys. John. You guys cool? Mandy. Hey Mike. All right, back to here, back to here. Man, we spent a lot of time at the carnival. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna save it before I shoot the magnetized thing. Not a bad idea. Uh, wait. Uh, wait a second. Yeah. Clown ain't there. So folks saying in the chat clown's dead. Oh yeah, I forgot the clown died. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, clown. Alright, uh, nope, not option. Save file. Save. We're gonna run probably out. Not, probably not the first time in my life I failed to notice a clown died. Probably <laughs> won't be the last. Magnets. Ooh, I don't know if we've ever gotten this deep in this song before. What? I really thought it was back through here. That's... This is the way to the... Twins. Mm hmm. That's not the way to the rifle range. Hold on. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, that's the way to the back room. That's the way out. I 
hey man. It's gonna, I'm gonna try this way again. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I go this way. No. Is it this way? Baby, do you know? I can try and look it up. Ah, there's only so many ways you can go. Oh, here it is. This guy. Hey, friend. Oh, you're not even supposed to go talk to him yet. What? But look, you can do buddy. it. I think this game is rigged. You're rigged. Are you nuts? Get out of here. All right, do I get to just use this thing? Can I use my own rifle? Shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, this isn't even really the next thing, but... I think I've done enough damage here already. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what? Uh, did you do that again? Is it magnetized? I can't believe I keep missing. Wait. Uh. Huh. Maybe reload that save, because he did say there weren't a lot of shots left, and there's not a lot of power. Hmm. <laughs> Huh. Said, the guide says this isn't even the next thing. Okay. <laughs> I think I've done enough damage here already. Somehow right. the next thing sounds stupider. Great. Where do I have to go? Magnets. Where do I have to go now? Uh, You are going to the Civic Center. The real Civic Center? The real Civic Center. You're in the, you're in the light world for a little while. Okay, good. Good. Oh, this pixel. Here it is. Civic Center is here, I believe. This is the Civic yeah. Center. Okay. Here's Mayor Fleming. Hey, Mayor Fleming. I've known him ever since I was a kid. He and my father were in the insurance business together. Hey, Matt Nellian. Oh, okay, <laughs> good. Hey, Mr. Fleming. Is he the shapeshifter? Hi, Mayor Fleming. <laughs> I'm Mike Dawson. Remember me? Why, of course, Michael. It's good to see you again. Get the fuck out of my way. So tell me, how do you like being mayor? Well, it's certainly different from being in the insurance business. There's not much glamour in that line of work. W which is not to say anything against your father. He was a good partner. Simple man, but a good partner. Mm-hmm. How was being mayor Who different? Who cares? Being a salesman was nothing but lies and manipulation. As mayor, I'm still a salesman, but I'm selling something different. My ideals. Wow. My principles. My integrity. Folks, vote Fleming. Sell to anyone who'll pay. <laughs> this guy's got it. I've been thinking of my father a lot these days. I miss him. Yes, it was quite a tragedy. I remember finding him slumped over his desk in the office. Well, that was years <laughs> ago. I'm sure you've forgotten by now. <laughs> it sure doesn't matter to you anymore. That's how I'd like to describe finding the body of your father. <laughs> yeah. The first time we've seen each other after, what, 20 years? <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about the recent murder, Mayor Fleming. You mean Ms. Scanlon? What do you want to know about it? It was a terrible thing. Found her beheaded uh, corpse mm -hmm. slumped over her desk. <laughs> Rita was a friend of mine. Did you know her at all? Uh, yes, but only slightly. Miss Scanlon did some research for my re-election campaign. She seemed like a nice young woman. Okay. Uh, quick swerve here. How's the re-election campaign, re campaign going? How's the re-election campaign going? Mm-hmm. The important well, stuff. we're just gearing up now. But the campaign fund from last time seems a little short. In fact, I'm heading into the courthouse to discuss the situation with my staff. Gotta send out more texts. Donate now. I sure would like to find out who killed her. We all would, Michael. Now, I've asked some friends at the FBI to step in. I don't like the way Sheriff Butler's been handling this case. We need to resolve this affair quickly mm. before it unravels our whole community. Yeah, Mike. Not to mention mm -hmm. unraveling your re-election campaign. Damn, yeah, Mike. Uh, you know, Michael, I probably shouldn't be talking with you until after the investigation <laughs> is over. But anyway, I'm due at a meeting in the courthouse and... Now press him. 
Get him, Mike. Grill him. I, I left my briefcase in the car. Oh, well, I, I probably won't need it. So long, my man. <laughs> out of trouble. Well, thanks. Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> well, I do have a coat hanger, and this looks like an old car. So let's go pop it uh-huh. Shall we? Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Have you ever done this? Jimmy, uh, uh, I've uh, tried. No. No? Like, uh, Never done it success- successfully. Um, I think I did it back when they used to you be able to get the coat hanger just around the literally the lock thing. I don't know, not mm-hmm. inside the the door, but like it, just pull the lock thing up. Gosh, remember <laughs> remember old door lock? Mm-hmm. Slim Jim is that what those are called when you get inside the between the window sounds, and the door? Inside the that sounds right. Case, but a quarter and why that dirty old man? Uh, He's got a collection of porno pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> what is... These are pictures of Rita. <laughs> what uh, sanctimonious old bastard. No wonder you're so anxious to bring in outside help to solve the case. You don't want the locals to find out that you and Rita were having an affair. Is that what that's called? A porno affair. <laughs> yeah, Jack right. sees this. It's a it's copies of Flesh... Was it Flesh World? There's yeah, just Flesh copies World. of Flesh World. Yeah. Could he take them? Nice. I can't believe that Rita would willingly dress up in this leather and whips garb. For him. Peter Fleming must have forced her into it. Yeah, she would nah, never do this I gotta on her say. own. <laughs> nah, dude. I think maybe you just didn't know Rita that well. It's depressing to think about how few things cost a quarter anymore. Um, all right. Well, now I got these pictures. Should I go confront the mayor? You know, I'm going to save again. I feel like things are, things are heating up. Um, I'm going to kind of go in. Fucking this guy, man. What? It's locked. What? All right. Where do I, where do I go with my, uh, my nudie pics? Uh, let me see here. Who wanted, now nudie, the- who wanted pics? Now that you have been sent nudes, um, <laughs> it's depressing use to think about how few things the quarter in more. the payphone. Okay, oh, to call whom? And I'm sure the game will tell you. <laughs> it wasn't too long ago that payphones only cost a dime to use. Now they cost twenty cents, and the phone company pockets the change if you put in a quarter. Wait, really? Mike, I have some. Did- I have some bad news about the future of payphones. <laughs> 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 the dark world really is here, Mike. <laughs> Wait, did, did payphones really cost twenty cents? I always remember them being either like a, a twenty-five. Dime. I think. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah did they're... they ever cost twenty cents? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I in suburban Texas. Yeah, they, they used to be a dime. I can a see dime. Them. Yeah. I can, I can see them having gone to two dimes at some point before they went to a quarter. Interesting. Maybe. You know the famous saying: "You're going to drop two dimes on somebody." <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, maybe I can get the sheriff out of his office. No, I'm gonna waste my one quarter on mom. <laughs> maybe I can get the sheriff out of his office. Sorry, mom. Is your refrigerator running? Sheriff's office. Butler here. Uh, let's see. I feel like a car accident wouldn't get him. Um, Robbery, maybe. Robbery. Yeah, it seems like a robbery. I want to report a robbery in progress. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. Good job, <laughs> Is he Mike. literally pinching his nose who's closed? Who's being robbed? Uh, who's being robbed? Uh, some poor old lady over at the ATM. She got roughed up pretty bad. The, da- the dairy freeze. Some poor old lady. Some poor old lady over at the ATM. She got <laughs> roughed up pretty bad. Is this Mike pinching his nose? Thanks. Sorry. I'll be there in a jiffy. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. This is the Jiff it. Have a, this is me jiffing it. It looks like the coast is clear. I can't believe that idiot fell for my trick. None of us can, Mike. All right. Let's go take stuff. Yes. Here's a photo of Rita. And the glass is smashed like it was hit with a fist. And the glass is smashed like... And here's an old newspaper article. The headline reads, Butler charges dropped. 
I knew it. Sheriff Butler was kicked off the Dallas police force because he was accused of accepting bribes. What? He was never convicted because the key witness was killed in a car accident. She was saying uh -huh. so, Mike. Mike sees this. Yeah, I remember all of that. Nothing and when that happened. More of the sheriff's girly magazine. <laughs> you take a gun? Yeah, I take a gun. It's locked. Damn it. I have a glass key. That's not going to work, is it? I can't. I think that's one it. you still need to use on some door in the dark something. World. No, I think it's. it might be in the light world. Oh. Is there anything else the, here, Alex, before I leave? Uh, you got a photograph and a newspaper article? I got a newspaper article and a photograph, yes. The then you're good. must have been very angry to smash Rita's photo like this, but it's comforting to know that she dumped him. Oh, the picture frame is smashed. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, Betty Betty Bush is, Yes. Yeah, it reminds that Jack is the, motor, the bike riding cool guy. Do I have to go home? Go home. Okay. I'm going to meet Jack. Jack's back. Mm hmm. Sit on my bench, wait for Jack. No. No, Jack didn't come. Not today, Jack. Mom! Oops. I'll tell you what to do when you want to know. Okay. That is the biggest bathroom I have ever seen. That's a huge bathroom with a huge toilet. Like, look at that. You can you can really do so. That's like a, it's almost like a toilet from like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like that toilet should be talking to you. And look at the size of this bathtub. Yeah. I know. You, you fit like three people in that bathtub. Yeah. Seriously. Like, there's also the weirdest amount like, of doors on this thing. Five <laughs> cabinet. What the? <laughs> yeah. True. This is a this is a truly deranged bathroom. <laughs> You got enough towels in here? Good, good, good. Let's leave. Are those baby faces on? No, let's just leave. I gotta talk to mom. Mom's the shapeshifter, almost assuredly. Mm -hmm. Has to be. And to be clear, I have not read up ahead on anything, so I don't know, but that's just my feeling. Mom, have you noticed that your flowers are dying outside? Why, how strange. They were in full bloom yesterday. I'll bet that dog next door got to them. I'm starting to get a headache. <laughs> well, that's what your medicine is for. You know where to find it. I don't remember, Mom. Nope, oh, okay. Mom. These pictures. No. Mom, this do not give mom porno. Mom, these pictures make me feel funny. Mom, this book. It kills me that Doc Larson put Rita's name in his little black. I book. remember this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah, stand yeah. the thought of that dirty old. Got a real uh, Laura Palmer thing going on with all this uh, Rita mm -hmm. stuff here. All right, a little bit. Moving on. Yeah, there's clearly a lot of Twin Peaks in this particular sequel, but also it is the clumsiest application of things place. learned from Twin Peaks I can think hero. of. I was actually meaning to ask before, and I can't remember when we finally watched this, but is the whole, like, I am ick and it is night thing? Like, that's been afraid of straight out of there, right? I, I think it is, yeah. I, about a, about monsters yeah I can't remember when we night. finally came across that in Twin Peaks, so. It was in the main series somewhere, I think. The stereo stopped working when I was a senior. I never bothered to get it fixed. You're a jerk, Mike. Um, oh, it was in Firewalk with me. Oh, that's, okay. that's what I thought. It's in the diner, right? Yes, that's right. I think... Alright. Where am I going in this house? Go back to the bench. Oh, okay. You are talking with Jack. Oh, okay. Oh, I just gotta use it. I see. <laughs> just sit on sit on the bench and Jack will appear. I hope he appears. Do you just sit What do you like this game is inscrutable? Yep. Here comes Jack. Play it cool. Jack's cool. Jack's always been cool. It's a little close, Jack, but thanks for coming. Thanks for meeting me, Jack. 
It's literally the Audrey music no playing, problem. basically. Like, this is the that? fucking jazzy Audrey music. <laughs> I found a newspaper article accusing the sheriff of graft. Graft. Jack. Well, I'm not surprised. I never thought that fat slob was a champion of law and order he pretended to be. Unfortunately, that doesn't link him to Rita. How about this photo punched in the face? I also found a photo of Rita in his desk. He smashed it with his fist. Really? I guess he still carries a torch for Rita after all. Good job, Detective Dawson. You were right to suspect him. What else did your snooping turn up? Found a quarter, Jack. Oh, here we go. I found a bunch of nude pictures of Rita in the mayor's car. <laughs> the fuck, Mike? What are you doing? <laughs> I told you he's not the grandfatherly old politician he'd like us voters to think he is. Jackson Man, I'll bet you wanted doppelganger. to kill when you saw those photos. Find anything else? <laughs> We're going to give all this up to Jack, and he's going to turn us in. Mm-hmm. Jack's a snitch. A black book hidden in his file cabinet. Rita's name was in it. That's great, hey, Mike. I knew he thought he was some kind of <laughs> Casa Nova. Can you believe it? And the guy pokes around with dead bodies all day. Got any more dirt? You didn't, you didn't find anything in my house, right? <laughs> Nothing about me, right, Mike? Uh, that's it. Hey, what about Mrs. Ramirez? Her husband has seen her do that. Shh. Hey, what about Mrs. Ramirez? Her husband was seen with Rita just before he died. Ah, the jealous wife angle. Well, that fire did leave her a rich widow, but the sheriff never could prove her involvement. I don't think you're going to have better luck. Hey. Still, I'd like to follow up on it. It's your life, but if I were you, I'd keep close tabs on the mayor and Doc Larson. Well, I'm out of here. Let me know if you find anything. <laughs> I'm out of here. This guy is not acting. He's just reading. <laughs> I'm out of here. Check out my walk. Oh, God. Ah, go. uh, yeah. This new shoe. These are new shoes, Mike. Ow. All right. We have to go follow up on a thing. Wait, I lost all my stuff? Jesus, don't give it to Jack. Man. Wait, you gave it all to Jack? I gave it all to Jack. Yeah. Uh, uh, where is the this person I gotta go find? Jealous Jealous Wife. Ramirez. She's the one with the at the church, right? She's the yes, house church right. church house thing. Where is that? Oh, is that from here? It's from the carnival it's here. There we go. There it is. Yes, this very religious okay. home that definitely is not at all a fucking work of the devil. <laughs> it literally looks like the church from In the Mouth I'm of sorry Madness. To you again, Mrs. Ramirez. Are you sorry? Is that so? And what do you want to bother me about? Oh, sure. Let's start nice. I just heard about how Mr. Ramirez died. I want to express my condolences. Thank you. It was a terrible tragedy. I don't know how I'll go on without my dear husband. Why did I never have a better nature? Heard rumors of fire. I maybe don't don't lead with that Ooh. yet. You don't want to you don't want to tip her off too early. Sure. You're the sheriff one. I suppose that Sheriff Butler was in charge of investigating the fire. Incompetent. Yes, and he found nothing to indicate foul play, despite what the insurance company says. Okay. Sure, we'll run that. I'm sorry that I never had an opportunity to meet your husband. Why, I'm surprised. He was the most prominent attorney in town. A very successful man and a charitable one, too. If he had lived, I have no doubt he would have eventually donated all his wealth to various noble causes. Sounds like a real good reason to kill him. Mm-hmm. All right, we're doing it. Yeah, now's the time. If there, I've there heard was rumors time. that the fire your husband died in was uh, intentionally set. Why, how <laughs> dare you? Those rumors were started by the insurance company trying to find a way to get out of paying off my husband's life insurance policy. I will thank you not to spread them any further. Good, Good day. day. Slam. Doop, doop, doop. 
keep haranguing her. I'm sorry to bother you again, <laughs> Mrs. Ramirez. Is that so? And what do you want to bother me about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just... I couldn't help but notice all the religious icons you have. I do not care to be mocked, what? young man. Go away before I call the sheriff. Hey, hey, no, I'm serious. Mrs. Ramirez is obviously a God-fearing... Okay. I'm sorry to bother you again. Is that so? I was just admiring your house. Was that mocking you too? Why do you think the town is corrupted I by evil? I believe we covered this topic earlier. Please don't waste my time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. I'm sorry to bother you again. Is that so? Why do you think the town is corrupted by evil? I do not care to be what? mocked, young man. Go away before I call the sheriff. Alex, she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. You should just stop answering the door. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Ramirez. Hmm. May I talk to you? What is it this time, young man? Oh. I was wondering if you uh... knew Rita Scanlon, the woman who was murdered nearby last week. Only too well, young man. She was the oh. devil's tool, I tell you. Hmm. Just how well did you know, Rita? Well enough to know she tried to seduce my late husband. She was a harlot. She deserved what happened to her. Okay, Ms. Ramirez. Take it down a notch. Okay. Luck, lady. Why do you say that she was the devil's tool? All of you young people are servants of Satan. <laughs> uh -huh. that heavy metal music and drugs and sex. You're not wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Did you see or hear anything the night Rita Scanlon was murdered? Young man, I have already told the police everything I know, which is nothing. But if you ask me, she had what was coming to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real judgy. Look, lady. Look, Rita lady. Was my friend. I just want to find out who murdered her, that's all. Is that so? Well, I have nothing more to say to someone who consorted with the whore of Babylon. Wow. Good day. Wow. Wow. But if I knock, will you answer the door again? I must. I'm sorry to bother you again, Mrs. Ramirez. Is that so? And so your family's been here a long time. <laughs> Such a weird sequence. Young man, I believe we covered oh my gosh. this. There might have been one more thing on the bottom greeting. Hmm. Excuse me, Mrs. Ramirez. What is it this time, young man? Nope. Okay, I think you might actually just be out of stuff to talk to her about. Oh, uh, we're done. I don't yeah. like, can't talk to her about Rita anymore. I'm sorry. No, I think we might be good that's... here. Why do you think the town is corrupted? By... I do not. Okay. All right. Go now... yeah. to the pool hall. Got it. To the pool hall. Okay. The pool hall is. It's down the street from Hanks, I think. Or is it down here? Oh, you're right, you're right. It's the diner, because isn't there like a giant pool thing by the diner? I think so, yeah. yeah I think you're right. Still watering. Still watering. Ah, he's still my number one guy. He's still my number one guess here. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely the biggest freak, for yeah. sure. Looks like the power to the entire block has been shut off. Hot damn. That's not good. No. Hi, Melissa. Have you got time to- Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Talk to her already, right? Just yeah, you're well supposed to you again. Know, okay. Not as well as some other people. Now stop bothering me. <laughs> okay. All right, Melissa. Is that she a person I have to talk to a hundred times? 
Uh, it just says talk to them. Okay. Hi, Jimmy. It I'm says talk, talk to Jimmy and Melissa again. Yeah? Well, maybe I don't want to talk to you, jerk face. Jerk face? Jimmy! This fucking guy. Do you have any theories about who killed Rita? Huh, from what I hear, the sheriff's got you pegged for the number one suspect. Old jerk face. How close were you to Rita before she was murdered? What business is it of yours? I don't know. I'm just kind of asking, Jimmy. I thought there was anything else to do here. Melissa, maybe you kept in touch with Rita. You leave Melissa out of this, you hear? And as for Rita, she wasn't the innocent librarian you and a lot of others thought she was. She got around. No, look, I know people forced her to wear leather. And yeah, whip stuff. definitely. That's definitely what was happening there. <laughs> Take it back. What do you mean Rita got around? Look, Dawson, stop asking questions before you get hurt. Rita was damaged goods. Only you were too stupid to notice. Man. I found a little black book listing you, Rita, and several other women. I know you wrote her name there. I used to round up dates for Larson now and then. And your librarian friend needed some cash. I guess our public institutions don't pay their workers enough money. <laughs> it's really. What are you saying? Rita wasn't like that. I guess this whole thing is kind of Twin Peaks, yeah. right? It's like yeah. Yeah. Me. Eady underbelly of Rita idyllic small town. To the dock, not but the again, it's around. like a half remembered a sketch pro. of Twin Peaks. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should go. Yeah, get out before I throw you out. Yeah. Also, I keep forgetting this lady is the mayor's wife. Wait, this is the mayor's wife? Yeah. Well, I believe that's right. Oh, I left. Should I oh, talk to her? No, it's fine. Oh, we're good? We can leave? I mean, you can talk to her again if you want, but... Are you really the mayor's wife? Hi, Melissa. Have you got time to... Well, well... I heard that Rita was seen in your husband's car shortly before her death. Why, how dare you get okay. the hell? Yep, yep. All Just right. piss everyone off. Fuck yep. it. All um, right. yeah, from here, uh, go back to that mean lady's house. No, oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Back by the carnival. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> What? Hey, oh, these uh, shoes fucking suck, man. Oh my god. <laughs> bring them back, but I'm here to collect my final payment. Quick, get in before someone sees you. The audience this guy Hank. saw you. That's this that's, guy's Hank. Wait, isn't that Jack? No, yeah, what I'm, I'm saying. In, I'm oh, drawing Twin oh, Peaks oh, analogs. Oh, oh, sorry. Sure. What's that sure. Hank doing here? And yeah. Josie. Sure. Yeah. But if Josie was a weird religious zealot for some reason. <laughs> I shouldn't make my presence known while Jimmy Gardner is inside. Okay. A camera, a brain, a glass key, a magnetized thing. Can I listen? How can such a nasty woman dare to display all these religious <laughs> symbols? What a hypocrite. <laughs> You're the best, Mike. Never change. Yeah, right. no one who sucks has ever displayed <laughs> religious iconography. On, that has mate. never happened. Still owe me one last payment for the torch job. Fork it over. You need to learn that patience is a virtue, young man. The money's been coming in slow from the insurance company. That's all. Here's the rest of what I owe you. I burned the Let mill. Now give me the money. Mrs. Ramirez is handing Jimmy a wad of bills. He did die in a fire. Mm hmm. Jimmy is still counting his money. I've got. Oh, thanks for the explicit. I think you have uh, one yeah. picture left. Jack didn't believe my suspicions about Jimmy. Wait till he gets a load of this. Okay. Wait till he gets a load of me. Mm. I better get out of here before they see Ooh. me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just weren't ready for that, were you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> nobody's ever ready for that. <laughs> that Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Whoop. 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 I have a splitting headache. Oh no! I better go see Doctor Sims. We're gonna get derailed. Uh, doc, the doctor's here. Yeah. Go see Wait, the doc. Doc at the no. morgue? No. Not oh, the doc at the yeah. morgue. No, 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 no. no, 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 like, no. Doc downtown. Headache. Doc Sims is the one you're looking yeah. for in the business district. They do business. <laughs> splitting okay, headache. we're trying, Mike. We're trying to get you there. We're going to get you there. Why, hello, Mike. How are you feeling today? All right, this guy. Gotta help me. I feel terrible. I've got another one of those headaches. I see. Well, I think we can take care of that after we have a little chat. Are you the body morpher? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What do oh, you God. want to talk about? Really These headaches are going to kill me. When did this last one begin? A little while ago. I was out for a walk at the park. I stopped by the Ramirez mansion. And what did you see? Well... Well, I'd rather not talk about it. Mike, you're not going to get better unless you completely confide in me. Tell him about Rita. Tell Jacoby about Rita. Let's just get on with the hypnosis, okay? All right. We'll hypnotize you now. Relax. Empty your mind and stare at the spot on the ceiling. You're feeling sleepy. You are calm. At peace. Here's part of it. I'll have the rest of uh. it and I can get to the re-election fund. <laughs> oh my Don't God. touch the floor, what Ethan. Do this will be harder to get away with than torching that rich guy was. Boy, that Rita sure had a thing for other people's husbands. <sighs> Look! <laughs> up there, it's Mike Dawson. <laughs> He's been listening in on us. Dawson, still sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Just like your friend Rita. You want to end up dead like her and all her other friends? <laughs> Anybody hungry? How about some filet of brain? The gray matter is particularly uh, tasty. Oh, today. my shoes bleeding? Just what makes us dark worlders strong and healthy. That's and what happens I when you pump up your kicks too much. It's <laughs> oh, so gross, Mike. No wonder Rita would rather Filet be with my brain. husband than with you. Yeah, my bleeding shoes is why I'm no longer dating this woman. Doc, I had that dream about Mike? my bleeding shoes. Are you awake? Well, like they had How some ambitions there now? that maybe. <laughs> I have a few notes about the direction of that scene. <laughs> Maybe exceeded their ability to execute them. What does yeah. it mean, Doc? What does the bleeding shoes mean? I have some strong feelings about the choices they've made here. I feel much better. Thanks, Dr. Sims. I'm gratified to know it's working so well for you. We have a few minutes. Let's talk a little before you go. You were talking during your dream. What, what, did, I, what did I say, Doc? What did I say? Quite a bit. You're angry with the mayor, aren't you? That's the shoes, Doc. Why do you think I'm angry with the mayor? Your dream. It sounded like the mayor's wife was plotting with Jimmy to murder her husband. And Jimmy's just murdering everyone's husband. Mm. I'm angry at Jimmy. He killed Mr. Ramirez for having an affair with Rita. You're projecting, Mike. I think you're the one who was jealous <gasps> of Rita. Mike, you're the killer. <laughs> what about my feelings for Rita? <laughs> We're just friends. I mean, mm -hmm. like, she yeah, saw the people. I saw the people, too. We both saw the people. You've never mentioned you had anyone else in your life, Mike. Just how big of a loser are you? <laughs> My girlfriend's in Canada. I'm not the jealous type, if that's what you think. 
Not even when you learned she was flirting with Mr. Ramirez and Mayor Fleming? Well, by the time that happened, she was dead, so... Okay, first of all, they weren't flirting. They <laughs> yeah. were fucking. Very different. I don't know. I'm gonna ask Jack what he thinks. Jack's smart. He rides a motorcycle. I don't think you ought to be going to Jack for advice right now. Why don't you just go home now and lie down? But if your headaches return, see me. Oh, the session's over? Okay. Well, Mike, should we go home? Y yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I should wait. I'm gonna save it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Home. What I thought. Home. We got some stuff to catch Jack up on. All right, so Jack, uh, you're not gonna believe some things have changed. A lot of ins and outs in this case. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. Here comes Jack. Okay. <laughs> Bloody shoes dream again. Uh, Mike. Mm-hmm. Been there. <laughs> Guess what? I have a photo of Mrs. Ramirez paying off Jimmy for killing her husband. <laughs> yeah. Great. I don't think it's a coincidence that his name keeps turning. <laughs> Fucking great job, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> not going to lie, Mike. This might be a little above my pay grade. And, uh... Is it really any wonder that no one in this town takes this man seriously? <laughs> Let's see. Who do we want to start with first? Let's go with the mayor. What's the connection between Jimmy and the mayor? There isn't one. Oh, wait a second. He's very fond of the mayor's wife, Melissa. I'd Did call that a connection. Rita was a homewrecker? Sorry, I couldn't find the line. <laughs> hey, I'm angry that a married man was fooling around with her. Well, before you go ripping somebody's head off, I'd check out their story. On my way over here, I saw Jimmy go into the pool hall. Why don't you go have a man-to-man -man with him? Okay. Talk to Jimmy. Oh. Okay. Jack, out. You guys ever play Law of the West? It's got a real Law no. of the West vibe. <laughs> Just walking in, walking out. All right. Is that, the, is, that the, is that the one you guys always describe as like Mass Effect? Yeah. West? Yeah. I think I watched you play it one time. The game is great. Uh, pool Hall. Whoa. I've been suspicious of you for some time, time, Jimmy Gardner. The liquor store robbery. I love these. The I love these animation loops where every frame has got like a different exposure on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, good Slim. I'm getting real sick of your crazy talk. Now shut your mouth before I shut it for you. You don't frighten me, none, Jimmy Gardner. This here letter proves you're a killer. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. That does it, you loon. Oh, Jesus. You stuck your Yikes. nose where it doesn't belong, and now you're going to pay for it. Hey, Jimmy, I'm right behind you. Hey, stop picking on him, Jimmy. Put that gun away. Mike, more guts than sense. Let's see if you're brave enough to take Yeah, not a great strategy here. <laughs> Fight. 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 <laughs> uh, um. All right. But, you okay, Mikey boy? What... what happened? I had a feeling you were spoiling for a fight with Jimmy. Fight choreography is hard. <sighs> Looks like I was right. You can thank me later. I've got to run. Wait a minute. Where did Slim run off to? Jack out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy's knocked out cold. Alright, take his wallet. Not gonna take the letter? Jimmy's knocked out cold. Kick him a couple times. Jimmy's knocked out cold. Uh hey, just go out back and see how Slim's doing. Oh, did he go out this way? He went out the front door, but let's check the back door. That's where he lives. Slim. 
Oh, you all right, Slim? Are you okay, Slim? Oh, come in, Mr. Dawson. Thanks for helping me out back there. What's up with this letter, Slim? Sorry I couldn't have done more. I guess I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> Call him out on a suit. Mm-hmm. Why'd you run away when Jimmy pulled his gun? I thought your suit made you invulnerable. My uniform doesn't cover my face, Mr. Dawson. Every power has its limits. Fair. Also, you're wearing shorts. Fair. What was this evidence you said you have against Jimmy? It's a love letter written by Rita to Melissa's husband. It Rita seems she was husband. having a fling with our honorable mayor. We know this. How did you get a hold of this letter? Oh, I snatched it out of Melissa's purse earlier today. I knew she was involved in some kind of conspiracy, and I just needed a motive. Gosh darn if I didn't find one. Did real good here, Slim. What first led you to suspect Melissa? I've seen Melissa go into the pool hall regularly the past few weeks. Now, that isn't the proper place for a mayor's wife, is it? So I've been keeping my eye on her. I don't understand what Jimmy has to do with all of this. Money. The night before the high school reunion, I saw Melissa give Jimmy a big wad of money. That seemed mighty suspicious, especially after how Jimmy turned Mr. Ramirez into a crispy critter. Hey. You know that Jimmy caused the Ramirez fire? Don't act so surprised, Mr. Dawson. Most people just think I'm a crazy fool, so they tend to talk a little carelessly when I'm around. I've heard it all. It's the shorts, isn't some. it? It's probably the shorts. Neckerchief. You know, Slim, the high there's socks. a lot of evil in the world. You got that right, Mr. Dawson. That's why I prefer my own delusions. Fair enough, Slim. Maybe he's the most sane of all of us. <laughs> No. Do you mind if I hand the letter and Jimmy's gun over to the sheriff, Slim? Go ahead. Sheriff Butler wouldn't pay it any attention if I gave them to him. He didn't even believe me the time I found Jimmy Hoffa's oh, grave. Take him. There it is. Mm -hmm. These references are just so insanely fucking old, even uh, for the mid-90s. Even for the 90s. How are you feeling, Slim? You don't look well. My head still hurts, Mr. Dawson. I'm not up for conversing, I'm afraid. I need to rest a spell. Okay. If only they had animated me sleeping. <laughs> I'm leaving. Didn't have the budget for that. All right, do we go to the sheriff? I feel like the sheriff yeah. is not going to care. Jimmy's gone. Uh, what I've about the dark world? Before he kills more people for the generator. What? Oh, for the generator in the dark world, right? Sorry, Mike, took me a second. Dark world? Dark world. Dark world? I mean, we got a, we got a piece now. Yeah. Looks like Jimmy took good care of his gun. Is there anyone in the dark world you might want think about giving a piece to? Oh, yeah. That gun manufacturer <sighs> guy. That guy loves guns. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of his whole deal. Yeah. He's a he's gun guy. He's got, like, he, squishy guns. Let's go to dark world. Bullets. Gun guy. He bullets first. No bullets. This is the dark world's halls of government. Or you mean find some bullets? Should I find some, find a bullet? This is yeah. where my neighborhood would be. I don't know. Do I need a bullet, world. Alex? Hmm? Do I need bullets for that gun? This is the ancient's power center. Doesn't say anything about it. All right. This is the weapon shop. Weapon shop. Let's try here. Hey, did Jimmy pull an empty gun on old Slim? Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, yeah, this guy. Mm -hmm. Big Johnson. What's new? What's new? More orders, more death. Okay. Well, this is all very interesting. Well, do you have any death? I've got an order. Here you go. 
Is the trigger mechanism of this gun of interest to you? Let me see that. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, is it something you can use? Why, yes. This will do quite nicely. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. trade then. Here. Sick. Let me attach your biomechanical arm. Please. <laughs> um. Cool. <laughs> Yeah! That is fucking cool, you're right! <laughs> cool? Uh... The gunsmith built this biomechanical machine gun so I can quickly attach it to my arm whenever I need it. The Barrett! Alright. Guess what? What? Should now you get to go to the shooting gallery. This oh, is the thing you need for that, apparently. Thing? Okay. Um, that'll, that'll probably do the trick. Oh my god. Hey, Sheriff, check this fucking thing out. <laughs> I got a gun arm. Yeah, just start waving that thing around town. Everyone will really like you after that. <laughs> okay, so we go back to the portal. We go back to the carnival. Because <laughs> this mm -hmm. all makes sense. Yeah. How do you solve the... I don't even know why I have to beat this game, but to beat the shooting range, I need to get a biomechanical arm to yeah. shoot. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I use this? So kind sir. Here, let me save it again. Magnets. I don't have to magnetize it first. I don't think so. I can't promise that, but I don't think so. <laughs> hey, what the hell happened here? I won, fool. I guess the trigger must have jammed, but I hit every target, so I think I still earned a prize. You can have your prize, but I don't want to see your face around here again. Take that weird biomechanical gun and just take it out of my establishment. That was some pretty nice shooting there, Dawson. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing here? Handy with a weapon. Sometimes I'll shoot my real gun at this carnival game, too. <laughs> oh, hello, Sheriff Butler. What brings you down to the carnival? I'm just checking out the area, looking for suspects. That's some real good police work there, Sheriff. <laughs> you here. You know, carny folk. Also, dead clown, but that doesn't bother me none. That's not That's even nice really a crime. For what? <laughs> you just murder? It's a misdemeanor oh, at most. For Rita's murder for the murder of Mayor Fleming. What? Uh. Mayor Fleming's been murdered? Shot with some kind of biomechanical arm you gun. You been anywhere else in the park during the last hour? No. I don't know anything about it. What happened? The FBI is examining the body right now. <laughs> I'm on the lookout for suspects who've been to the park during the last hour. Please have an FBI agent. Please. I need to know. Oh, yeah. Hour? No, that has to happen, right? Well, I've been busy it has doing to some work. Didn't they show up early in the game? Work? I don't remember. Oh, or maybe there was yes. just a reference to I've them. I've heard that you've been playing detective today. And what evidence have you turned up, Sherlock? <laughs> well, you should ask Jack, man. I, get, I had a lot of it. I, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I've got a letter implicating Jimmy. Melissa hired him to kill Rita for having an affair with the mayor. That's big words, Mike. <laughs> All right, Dawson. Oh, you got a letter. Oh, shit, that changes letter. everything. <laughs> but stick around in case the feds or I have any more questions for you. Can I still go to the dark world? What the fuck, I Mike? mean, <laughs> whatever the fuck you say, Mike. I guess technically that is still in the same jurisdiction because it's an op direct opposite of the place you were there already in. So what you just can't leave the county line in the dark world. I think I'd like to try it one more time. Hey, pal. Fuck you. You've given me enough grief for one day. <laughs> what did I, what did I, I want another teddy bear? Appears to be. I almost thought that Carney guy was going to punch me out for demolishing his shooting gallery, but he gave me the prize anyway. Hmm. I would spell Carney with an I-E. Not a why. 
All right, back to the dark world. I have to drop this thing in some kind of receptacle. Uh, there's another game you got to go play. All right, we got the wheel game. Oh, the hoop, the rings game. Magnetized yeah. rings. Oh, no, go the wrong way, Mike. I remember the rings game. Let's do it. Now it's time for the crossbow. All this ancient alien weaponry is just used to fucking win these stupid fucking carnival games. Look, these carnival games are ancient alien weaponry against us, against the rooms. Yeah. Okay. Fucking yeah. carnies. <laughs> Let's go save over here. Now, before we end today, we have to save in the new spot. Let's make sure. Okay. Hey, guy. Let's, uh, I'm going to shoot your thing with my magnet bow. Just don't get freaked out. You'll love or it. Or do. Whatever. I like you just somehow didn't see you do that. Like to play the game? I'd like to play this game. Yeah, be careful. The ring's heavy. Bing. Bullseye, a winner. Great. Hooray. I'd like to play this game. Eh, yeah, sorry, pal. You already won. So I don't get to play anymore? No one's ever allowed to win more than once. All right. Uh, I've got the Alpha and yeah. the Omega. Just keep going right. All right. Wait. Mm, I don't know if that's possible. Oh, you can't? No. Can I, uh... What's the next screen they want me to use? Oh, sorry. I was on the wrong one. Uh... Now you're going to Dr. Sim's office again. Oh, boy. All right. Bye, everybody. Good old Dr. Sim's. I bet it'll be another great dream sequence. Oh, man, I hope so. I hope so. Biomechanical gun. What the hell are we doing? All right. I have a splitting headache. Yep. Okay, great. It's a reminder for folks who missed the first game. Mike had like a bomb inside oh shit bomb inside of his head headache. right the first game that's why he kept getting the headache his head was gonna it was explode. an alien <laughs> it, was, it was like an alien embryo wasn't yeah, it? Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Well, okay. hello, or an egg buddy. you know I'm it's surprised. what happened to rfk jr so soon. <laughs> that's right they called it a worm uh -huh. we, we know what it was but we know better we know better all right here we go my head is killing me dr sims oh, man more hypnotism what happened just put me under. Just do it. Didn't you hear? Mayor Fleming's been murdered in the park. I heard, Mike. Doc Larson told me that he had performed the autopsy. Oh. Doc Larson? That pervert. <laughs> but also, that's his job. <laughs> Why do you say that, Mike? Are you jealous of the relationship he enjoyed with Rita? It's not that. I told you before I wasn't jealous of Rita. Why are you trying to put words in my mouth? You're trying to trip me up in my head. Uh-huh. Of course. You always do this. I need more hypnosis. I, think I need more hypnosis. Give it to me, Doc. I agree, Mike. Let's try another session. Look at the spot on the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Relax. Close your eyes. Welcome back, folks. Our oh, God. Guest today on Let's Make a Death is Mike Dawson. How are you, Mike? Okay, I guess. What's I have great on, news. Huh? Yeah. There's an FBI you agent. Oh, good. Day, Mike. You get to choose one I swear of they showed up briefly at the beginning. And but... learn something about this mystery you're Maybe trying I'm to solve. It. Which hologram will it be? Okay. Uh, hologram number one, please. Wait, oh, yeah, I didn't want to choose. Hologram number one is the lovely Rita Scanlon, alive and well. Hey, look at Mike, you're so wrapped up in your own little world. He didn't kill me. You know, you really ought to read more. I could have helped you like I did Mr. Ramirez, the mayor, and Doc Larson. Ouch! <laughs> Not quite the reunion you hoped for, was it? Choose another hologram. Hologram number two. Hologram <laughs> Come on, big buddy. No whammies. Who is the not so honorable Mayor Fleming? Cliff Clavin? <laughs> you know, Mike, 
<laughs> you and Rita just didn't have the right kind of interest. You just didn't click the way she and I did. If you know what I mean. Ooh! Oh boy, I, I don't. Think I got could you, it. Hey, Floating Head, could you come back and explain? Like when you found those photos of Rita in the mayor's car. I bet that got your engine running. Choose another hologram. Hologram number three. Hologram 3 is a real smooth operator, Doc Larson. Rita didn't have much time for you, Mike, but she somehow found time to bring me my medical textbooks. Now, that is actually... I don't suppose that got her <laughs> That is the face I would have put to that voice. <laughs> Are you jealous, Mike? Oh, God. That's what you get for sneaking into my office and stealing my little black book. That oh, the little smile at the end. Pill to swallow. I'm sorry, Mike. Is that the lawn There's guy? No prize for you I think in so? any of the This is the lawn guy talking to you, yes. have a lovely parting gift for you. All the hardware you'll ever need. A beautiful <laughs> set of steak knives. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I'm okay. It's the longest and knives again. in the world. <laughs> Mike, are you awake? How do you feel now? Ah, pretty what good. Pretty what are good. What you fucking doing here, man? Feeling all right. I'm feeling a little better. At least my headache's gone again. Well, that's. I saw my dead girlfriend on. with <laughs> knives in her face. <laughs> I feel better. Her. Shh! Definitely. Don't, don't, don't say that, Mike. Don't. <laughs> It was a terrible thing, Doctor. The killer must be found. It was terrible, Mike. But right now, I'm concerned about how events are affecting you. In particular, your dreams. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Sims. I think I'm getting better. I'd like to go... You're now. way past not worrying. Very well, Mike. Now just go home and try to get some rest. Okay, Dr. Sims. I'll try. I think it's for the best. Okay. Oh! Ah! Excuse me. Mike Dawson? Are you Agent Pooper? Special Agent Gannon, FBI. Okay. May I have a word with you? What do you want? You're not leaving until I get some answers from you. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? I'll ask okay, but you're FBI, saying. but we're going to dress you like Columbo. Got it. <laughs> what am I suspected of? You're suspected of a lot of things, Dawson. I've done some checking up on you. I know all about what happened to you last year. You know all about what happened to me last year? Yeah, what do you know? What do you know about what happened last year? Enough to know that you're nutty as a fruitcake. We've seen your psychiatric reports, Dawson. They have psycho written all over them. Literally. Sims is not a good doctor. <laughs> he wrote a lot of stuff on there. Hmm. But I found a letter that proves Jimmy Gardner killed Rita. I gave it to Sheriff Butler. Butler's off the case. I'm in charge now. And as for your friend Jimmy Gardner, he's in the hospital. Coma. Furthermore, Doc Larson places the mayor's time of death sometime after you attacked Gardner. Killer. Hmm. Larson's lying. He was involved with Rita. He's the psycho. <laughs> Right, Dawson. Everybody's a psycho but you. No wonder Rita dumped you. Is that why you killed oh, her? Oh, he's good. Good. I loved Rita. I didn't touch her. Oh, yeah? It sure sounds like everyone else did. Boom. She dressed up in leather for the okay. man. She was doing the nasty with Doc Doing Larson. the nasty! But nothing for poor Mike. Makes you mad enough to kill.
doesn't it? She definitely did the nasty for me. Almost. Uh, oh! Uh, oh <laughs> my. No. I think I'm really in trouble. <laughs> I need uh -oh. to talk to Jack. Yeah, go talk to Jack. You'll, this will, Jack will make it better. Jack will fix everything. Yeah, Jack. Jack's going to be some kind of guardian spirit from another world, isn't he? That Jack's would, that would, cool. That would be a pretty good twist. I would be down they for just, that. They can't <laughs> choreograph a punch. Like, they just can't do it. Look, those people weren't in the same state when they were going I know. <laughs> those things. I know. I'm not saying there aren't challenges. There absolutely are. It's just you could write a, the scene back. slightly differently so that doesn't <laughs> have to happen. One like this. Okay, Mike. <laughs> it's really getting tired. You could just stay on the bench. I hit an FBI agent. Smart move, Ace. Why'd you do that? He said Rita was doing angry. the nasty. He made some comment about Doc Larson, and I just flipped out. I can't blame you, Mike. The idea of him and Rita together would drive kind of like Red Corby's too. suggestion that, that maybe Jack is some kind of Tyler Durden sort of figure. Mmm, mm. I do like that as well. Is he the alien embryo in your brain? Oh my gosh! Is it still there? Has anybody ever seen Jack? This is Jack's. Embryo. Well, he did punch a guy at one point, but it could very easily have been him projecting yeah. that happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, didn't the FBI agent just say uh, you uh, you beat up uh, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. No, Mayor's been murdered. His head was wait, was it? Do we know that? Murdered. His head was cut off, just like Rita's. Yeah, we know what? that because Another we did murder? it. No, I don't want to say this. Maybe Mrs. Well, Ramirez you have was to. right. Maybe Rita got what she deserved. Hey, none of that talk, Mikey boy. It takes two to tango, you know? Both Mayor Fleming and Doc Larson are Class A leches. I'd like to clobber them myself. I yeah. won't sanction any slut shaming around here, you see? <laughs> By the way, thanks for We maintain an air of cool. sex positivity around these parts. <laughs> No problemo. I had a feeling you'd try to take Jimmy's head off. So, did he fess up? Jimmy's not our man. He was unconscious when the mayor was killed. That's real bad news, Mikey boy, because I'm fresh out of leads. I think you're going to be swinging a sledgehammer the rest of your life. Because I'm getting a career in construction? Wait a second. Paul Cooper, the hardware store owner. He's involved in all this somehow. I just had a dream about him. Good. Man, you're losing it. Instead of grasping at straws, you should be putting your affairs in order. Look, I'll be a character witness for you at the trial, but I think I've outlived my usefulness here. Take care, Mike. <laughs> and off he Jack saunters. Out. <laughs> Jack out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mom! Mom! Jack's not allowed to come over to play anymore. Mom! Hold on, I want to make sure I have these subtitles on. There was no subtitles during the Gardener thing. Okay. Yep, they're both on. Yeah, I think, I think they might just be missing at times. Okay. All right, back to the hardware store guy? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? I have a gun now, right? No, I, give the, I have the biomechanical gun. I can do whatever I want. Oh, actually, wait, hang on. Hang on. You might uh -huh. need to go to the dark world. Of course, of course. I've got so, these teddy bears. We could probably finish this today. We may go a little yeah. over if that's all right. But, I'm, I'm uh, okay if we wrap it up. If there's not too much longer. I don't think there's a full stream of this left. Is all the right. main thing. Brad, you good to see the end of this? Mike, uh, sure. Mike and Stance, where should I go? Uh, you are going to the power center, which is that place where you put the teddy bear. Yes, that's in here. Actually, I think if I go to the... Is that this? This is. That is this, right? This is the Ancient's yeah. Power Center. Okay. So I'm going inside the thingamabob, yeah? Yeah. Grody. Some people are saying this might be like an hour, so... Mm. We could always do a, we could always do a, a half stream of this. Yeah. We'll do a combo. We'll do yeah. A combo stream next week. I'd be fine with that. I've got plenty of other... Uh, holy shit. Oh, so the no. Oh. oh, there's like some long gameplay stuff that might be happening, because the guide seems pretty short from here. But there's only one more head left to go. 
If the shapeshifter isn't Jimmy, who could Is that the, da the the shitty mortician oh. guy? I think it is. Yeah, That's that guy sucks. Spaceship. It's drawing its psychic. Yes, maybe we call it here. All right. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of other FMV games we could look at after this. Next we week. could always Absolutely. go back to running people over in a bulldozer. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was. Thinking. I would <laughs> gladly do that. <laughs> yeah, plenty of other stuff. All right, I'm gonna save it up here. The stuffed animal I won at the shooting gallery turned into a dark world creature too. Wow! All right, so we are. Whoops, we're gonna go file save. I'm gonna put um. What's the next thing we have to do, Alex? We have to put these animals into the the bin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Animal. Deposit. It's uh, yeah. Uh. This one. <laughs> there we go. That should that that should be communicable yeah, to yeah. us, a future us. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this week's stream. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for his biomechanical appendage. Thank you, Brad Shoemaker. Thank mm -hmm. you, Thanks, Alex Jack. Navarro. Thanks, Jack. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jack. We'll be back cool. next yeah. week, uh, probably with the finale of this, of Mike. Almost assuredly. And everyone else. Um, have a good weekend, everybody. Don't forget. Uh, let me get off of this uh, this audio here. Don't forget, next Monday, we talked a little bit about Twin Peaks. We have started the return First two episodes uh, are watched, and our WatchCast episode should go up on Monday. So check for that over at patreon.com slash nextlander, where you can catch up on all the WatchCast business. We also recorded quite a Never Been a Better podcast last night. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that one got a little bit away from us. <laughs> a little bit away from us. It happens. But uh, if you're curious about what the sexiest console is maybe or why it's the N64 then you should tune into that that'll go up next week Brad Dan's got a thing going where he says the N64 is, is a better console than the Super Nintendo and I just I have I have one right here yeah well you don't want to you say I'll never look, be able to look at that controller again you, you no, say. no no yeah well you're, okay. you're, yeah you're getting there mm, keep uh, going yep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to stop. No, keep going. Got to stop. Tune in for that. Don't stop. Next week. See everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye. Keep.